Welcome back to the Mullet Family Channel, where we seek to ignite faith, hope, and purpose in living as an overcomer. This is the second of a vlog series where we invite you to join in the process of the Mullet Family 2.0 as we launch from pain to purpose online. In the launch of an online video channel, the first thing needed is a space to film the content. So last week we went through our house evaluating which space would be the most suitable for this purpose. If you missed that episode, you can go back and watch it. We were evaluating the office, this room, which is our schoolroom slash study room, and then finally our basement. And we asked for feedback and input from you all. Thank you all for that. And after some discussion and deliberation, we decided that, drum roll please, the basement would be the best ideal location. Even though it's going to take the most work, it will ultimately be the best setup for us long term. So, Kyra, what are you working on? I'm working on history. All right. So we talked about the fact that we decided on the basement to use for the studio. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is to clean out the whole basement, and that will be a lot. And then after that, we're going to sell some things and give away some things. That's right, at a yard sale is what the goal is, what the plan is. So you are almost done with your school and then you'll be down to help us start clearing stuff out, right? Yep. got a bunch of things sorted and we're ready to go pull the trailer around and start loading stuff. Today we're talking about switchbacks. What are they and how do we respond to them? We've had a number of unexpected things come up this week including my sister Alicia um, going downhill health-wise which means she's out of commission and on top of that my dad had a herniated disc and so we didn't know how all the details were going to work out with getting accomplished what we needed to this week. But my mom, she's pretty much like Dr. Mom. She knows what kind of remedies to do for things. And so after some treatments that my dad had, he did so much better. And he healed very quickly within a couple of days. And we realized it wasn't as bad as what it had been a couple years ago when he had had a herniated disc. So we are so thankful for that. So let's talk to my dad about just what exactly switchbacks are. All right. I am going to put the trailer up here so he can help me back up. Sure thing. To get the hitch up. Looks like we're all ready to start with the process of loading up the trailer. But first, hey Dad, can we take a minute to talk about switchbacks? Sure, sure, switchbacks. You know, I don't like to talk about my back and uh, when things like that happen, but I'm glad it's very minimal this time and some of the exercise treatment and things that I'm doing is really, really helping. So it's yes. not gonna be as big of a thing as it was a couple of years ago. We're thankful for that. Yes. But when I think about switchbacks, I think about uh, the first time I heard that term, actually it was almost 29 years ago. And uh, we were out in California on our honeymoon. This so, was before yeah, my time. Before your time. Uh, and we were there in on I-5 and planning to go over to Monterey Bay, talked to someone about the route over there. And he said, well, on the way up, you'll have like maybe 12 switchbacks. On the way back down, you'll have eight switchbacks. 
and I didn't think much of it, didn't know what a switchback was, but as we started traveling, I realized you go up a mountain and then you switch back. You go the opposite direction and you work your way all the way up the mountain and down the other side. So that was the physical switchback that they were talking about, back and forth. Then I think about the, uh, just the switchbacks as I, you know, I take just a moment to think about the physical switchbacks that we've had in our life. I think about the going from a normal life to ICU and there's been you know 8, 10, 12 times when I remember the one time Austin was five and that Thursday morning uh, he had some ear infection went to the ENT doctor and they did scans got the results that afternoon and uh, when we woke up that Thursday morning we had no idea what the next 24 hours was going to consist of because we got the results back that afternoon. By nine o'clock that night, we were packed up, traveling from North Carolina to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the transplant center, where on Friday morning, they could do full body scans, and Saturday, they did a biopsy, and by Monday morning, uh, we were starting, uh, signing papers to start an intense chemotherapy regimen that lasted for seven months. And so, life has. A lot of different kinds of switchbacks and changes and what's important is how we respond to those switchbacks. And we'll be talking more about that a little later. All right, you ready to get loaded? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> He's one out of how many? How many pieces? <laughs> Hundreds. Hey mom, how are things coming over here? Uh, it's coming pretty good. We have most of the stuff loaded and we are just, I'm just wrapping up the final um, pricing for garage sale stuff. We still have work in the basement, cleaning up and all of that, but at least this part is almost done. So I think it's going pretty good. Good, so we were talking about switchbacks mm -hmm. and how things can come into our lives that are very unexpected. Uh, like this week in trying to prepare for this uh, yard sale we're doing, we're having a lot of um, unexpected things come up. What could be the purpose of why God allows switchbacks in our lives? Okay, good question. So I think sometimes God allows um, things to come into our path that we can actually benefit, we can learn things from, and uh, switchbacks I think can reveal just deeper heart issues, things that, that maybe are buried beneath, you know, like these pillows. I was pulling out this bag and there's mold all over these pillows and I realized I just have to throw these out. But sometimes there's things that God is wanting to expose in our hearts. And in fact, just cleaning out this basement, there was areas in my life where God was revealing some things that I had to deal with. Um, so I think that's one of the, the reasons why God allows switchbacks. And just to also help us to realize if there's areas in our life where because of fear, uh, we are maybe trying to control things and God wants us to just to realize our dependence on Him and um, just to help reveal how much faith do we really have in Him? Uh, are we able to trust Him during the switchbacks? And then another important thing is, I think just revealing the importance of having joy uh, in the midst of difficulties, switchbacks, and, you know, I will not be equipped to face life if I cannot choose joy in the midst of switchbacks. And uh, sometimes that means not just taking the easy road, but taking the high road. It means staying the course. It means um, just being committed and realizing that God is sovereign. But that choosing joy, I believe, is very, very important in, in dealing with switchbacks. And that, that is something that God has been showing me in my heart and in my life. 
And some final thoughts. My mom talked about staying the course. And you know, it reminds me of that scripture in 2 Timothy, where it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. If we have that perspective on switchbacks, we can live as overcomers. Let's go get some final thoughts from my dad. Hey dad, you have final thoughts on switchbacks? Well, switchbacks, don't allow them to destroy your life. Uh, enter into the switchbacks, enter into those changes, and realize that God sees the bigger purpose. Trust God as you enter into them. In fact, I had a uh, plaque thing that I got quite a few years ago. It says, a bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. And so, uh, don't become bitter and angry, uh, but embrace uh, the switchback, trusting God, knowing God sees the bigger picture. Until next time, live as an overcomer and stay in the fight.